what is going on today we're headed back to the track and uh well the tuning the handheld tuner there's no longer an issue the new tuner i got on thursday uploads tunes fine logs great there's no issue with that but we're we still having a lot of timing issues so the tune we have in now is almost the same as what we did last week so i don't expect to go much faster than what i did last week i think the best the last last week i did 112.3 because we're pulling top, so much timing off the line, the truck was bogging down off the line from the locks. So we were nowhere near hitting our off the line potential. We were back halfing really good. So I was really happy with that. It's getting off the line as hard as we were getting off the line with the new cam and heads. We should get off the line even harder because we're making more power in the in the power band after the stall. So in the 4,000, like to obviously 64, we're making much more power. But that initial hit after the stall, we're having some timing issues. It's really bad. It's bogging. And, uh, we're, you know, the only difference is I do have Boostane and 100 Octane tune on and a track tune instead of the 93 Street. I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make considering the, the timing issues we're having. I may, may get in the 1220s. I may not. I don't think. I don't know. I think I'm going to probably get more 12 threes today and possibly a 1220 if I continue to do it. Today's day is basically about logging to Jay because he's like, he wants to get a track log before he has to make drastic changes, which is understandable. I don't want to have to go and, you know, because we had to deal with some crazy timing issues before when I first got my headers on. It was, it was pulling crazy false knock and he, you know, he had to go through a whole system and sending me weird tunes and we, he got it, he got it great. It just took some time and we probably have to do that again. You know, sometimes log, putting in a whole new, uh, you know, cam and heads that, you know, it takes time to get it exactly where he wants it, especially when, you know, I have to log on the street and give it to him. And he has so many other people to work with and deal with that it's hard to, you know, get it dialed in, obviously, fast. And we probably could have got it dialed in if we didn't have the issues we've had for the past uh, week and a half, two weeks, since my uh, I2 was, you know, basically took a shit on me. But, you know, we're going to do what we can today. And, but, you know, if, if we're running a little bit better, we should, you know, possibly get back into the 1220s. We will see. Weather's looking great. Great weather still. It's still early in March, obviously. So no races lined up. I do know a couple guys going there. So I'm going to see what I can do and uh, just try to get back, try to get some logs for Jay so we can get back on, you know, back, get this truck back to, you know, the potential that we want it to be at, which should be 12 0 11 99 And we're nowhere near that. We're not, you know, we're, we, last week at the track, we were a tenth slower at the 60 foot alone than what we should be. So we take that off and take off, you know, whatever other timing is being pulled like crazy. Because when I was hitting it, it didn't feel like it hit like last time. It didn't feel hard off the line. So we're gonna we're gonna try and figure all these issues out, and hopefully, like I said, the hundred octane tune helps. I don't know how much it's gonna help not being dialed in. It may do a little bit. It may not. We will see. We're only on ninety three and boosting, but uh, we'll see what we got going at the track, fellas. All right, for the first pass, I'm actually so you can see I got the GoPro right here. I'm using the GoPro so I can get a, a good a video for the air fuel ratio for Jay so I don't gotta hold my phone at the light and stuff like that. I'm not distracted with that. I can play that ahead of time. And uh, you, you might be able to see some of the race with it, but um, that's what I'm doing for the first race and I got a log for him. So we're gonna get a couple logs in for Jay and a couple, you know, an air fuel video. And then I can hook the GoPro on the outside for any other videos I got for racing. But hopefully today we uh, do a little better than last week. I'm not expecting, like I said, but we'll see.
60 foot. Oh shit, turn the log off. Definitely just broke something.
Would I break the rear? Uh, Most likely, I'm guessing probably the rear. Yeah. Oh, I put it. I guess it's the third rear in this truck. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing it's the rear. I broke it like three times already. <laughs> hey, that means you're close Hi right, guys, I hung out for a little bit with some friends and talking and stuff like that. I watched some races, but uh, went for a tow truck driver. He's on his way here. I'm gonna get towed home, and um, I'm hoping that possibly my uh, the spider gears I bought from Randy's Ring and Pinion are on warranty. I think they're on warranty for a year. And I'm hoping that so they can send me them. I can at least get the truck running. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be... I, I don't know. I don't know. But I want, at least want the truck to be up and running. And hopefully, uh, you know, we can get it at least running. And, you know, if they do that, because if not, uh, I don't even know if I want to pay the money to get more gears and just have the same... I'm not going to do that. Even though they're, they're cheap for the gears. I just want to... Um, get it you know up and running for now and hopefully it's under warranty and i don't gotta pay nothing or we gotta save out the money for a true track or honestly just give up with this truck for now and get another car like i want to do because i'm really getting frustrated with it what's up Straight. yeah i'm just waiting for a tow truck all right, man, good luck, man. how'd you do uh, 12 ones, 12 all day right yeah 93 ain't gonna get no better so let me take it home all right bro have a good one. So, uh, yeah, basically, I don't know what to do. I'm like at a, I'm probably almost at my breaking point with this Ram, and wanting to just keep fixing it and be breaking, keep fixing and breaking. I don't have unlimited money. I don't have an unlimited budget. I don't have, you know, if I have to save up for a true track, it's going to take me months. And you know not selling merch like I want, not, you know, getting all the views that I want. So, you know, the more people watch, the more money I can invest. If not, I can't put any videos out. I'm not just going to keep doing videos that are, you know, basically me breaking and, you know, it's I'm tired of it. I'm, just, I'm frustrated with it. We're already having tuning issues. Like since the cam install, we, this was, a, you know, bound to happen even if we didn't do the cam install. We broke the rocker shaft. The I2 was broke on that and now this and between them two i spent almost 600 dollars just getting that fixed so we can get the tuning issues figured out tow truck now another tow truck and you know it's it's, it's a, i'm pissed pissed off man i'm very pissed off and now i can't even get it dialed in for anything who knows how long it's going to be sitting here the way it is and stuff like that but uh i'll keep you guys updated let you know what's going on and uh I'll talk to you.